Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing the topic area of quadrilaterals and this is the last bit of this topic, the area of a polygon. So we're going to look at our polygons, a regular polygon in that case because we have irregular ones. So any regular polygon can be divided into isosceles triangles by joining the vertices to the center, as you can see in the image. The number of polygon formed is equal to the number of the sides of the polygon. Like this one has one, two, three, four, five, so it is referred to as a pentagon. Let's look at a few examples um, together. So we have this polygon. Uh, so first of all, let's look at the number of sides. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven sides. That tells you it's an heptagon. So if it has seven sides, it's going to form seven isosceles triangles. So we get the area of one triangle and we multiply it by seven. You need to keep that in mind. And an isosceles triangle, you can see this has two sides and an angle. That tells you it's going to be a half, a, b, sine, the theta or alpha. But in this case, it's going to be a half times 6 times 6 sine 45. So by 2, 1 by 2, 3. 3 times 6 is 18 sine 45 degrees. So once again, you can decide to use the long method to do this calculation. Uh, or you can directly read sine 45 from the table and then you multiply it by 18. So sine 45 is 0 0.7071. So let us multiply 18. So it's going to be 18 times 0 0.7071, which is going to give us 12.7278 centimeters squared. But this is not the end. Remember, this is the area of one triangle. So if we want to get the area of all the triangles that are formed, so if, for example, you do this, 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 you can see the triangles are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you multiply this area by seven. When you multiply by seven, you get 89.0946 centimeters square. And that forms the area of this regular polygon, which is an heptagon. Let's look at another question. So you have been put to find the area of a regular hexagon with side 4.8 centimeters. So there are so many things. So first of all, let's draw the hexagon. Hexagons make uh, reminds us that it is going to have six sides. So let's show those six sides. So we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and finally the sixth. So if it has six sides, it's going to form six triangles. And the side we have been given is 4.8. So if we draw that triangle, it looks like this. This side is, is equal. This is 4.8. So for us to get this angle, remember this angle plus this other angle plus the other angle, they all total to 360 and they are six angles. So what we do to get that angle, you're going to say that 360 degrees divide by 6, which gives us 60. So this is going to be 60. So using the 60 and 4.8, we may not be able to calculate this area. We need more values. So what we do, we drop a, we can drop a perpendicular by sector. If we drop this perpendicular by sector, since this is an isosceles triangle, it's going to divide this line into 2. So 4.8 divided by 2 gives us 2.4. So this is going to be 2.4, this is going to be 2.4. Remember, this isosceles triangle, these base angles are equal. Remember, we did this in our previous lesson. So it's going to be 180 plus minus 60 
and then the remaining divide by 2 which gives us 60 so this angle is also 60 you can see even this one is 30 either way you still you are still able to get what you want to get so if we use the 30 that is above or 60 that is on the side we still will get the same value so let's work on that so let's use the 30 for example it's going to be opposite over adjacent which is going to be tan so tan 30 is equals to opposite which is 2.4 over h if we were to use 60 it will be tan 60 which is opposite which is our height over 2.4 you see how it works either way you get the same value so this is going to be tan 60 so we can check the tan 60 using our logarithm tables or we can go directly into our natural uh, tangent if we go to natural tangent and we check um, tan 60 we are going to get that tan 60 is 1.73 to 1. If you were to get tan 30, the ones who are going to use tan 30, remember you get the same answer either way, it's going to be 0 0.5774. So tan 60, you multiply that by 2.4, so that is 1.7321 times 2.4 gives you 4.157184 which gives us 4.157 is equals to our height if we decide to use the tan 30 this is going to mean 0 0.5774 is equals to 2.4 of our height you multiply by height you multiply by height which gives you um, h times 0 0.5774 is equals to 2.4 you divide by 0 0.5774 divide by 0 0.5774 our height is going to be 2.4 divide by 0 0.5774 which gives us once again 4.157 so you see either way if you use this this value or use this value you end up having the same height so our area is going to be a half times base which is 4.8 times 8 which is 4.157 so by 2 1 by 2 2.4 so we are multiplying 2.4 times 4.157 which gives us 9.9768 centimeters squared. But remember, once again, as we said, we are not just calculating the area of one triangle. We are going to calculate the area of six of them. So we multiply by six. When you multiply by six, it gives us 59.8608. And centimeter square we had more questions in this video we are going to upload them in the app you can check them out and work on the, the questions so that you can be able to understand the topic you can also check out more notes in the same app see you in the next lesson